Hey guys, it's Ornlu, and this is going to be the first of my achievement guides for Return of Rome. Uh, basically, you know, a lot of the campaigns have specific achievements, and I wanted to separate the playthroughs that I do of the scenarios, which is just my first time playing, with actually getting all the achievements because that is something I like doing. So this is just going to be a quick little guide on how to get the first achievement in the Trajan campaign in Legates and Legions, and that is Are You Not Entertained? A lot of achievements in this game. Yeah, win Legates, Legates and Legions in less than 10 minutes. Now that is 10 minutes game time. Uh, which can perhaps be a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to show you guys the way that I did it. This is not necessarily the only way to do it or even the best way of doing it. But hey, if it works for me playing this scenario on hard, I'm sure something like it will work for you guys on any difficulty. So without further ado, let's get right into our little speed run. All right, so let's get into this here. So basic speedrun tactics apply. You get a bunch of free units um, if you go to the different Roman camps. So we're just going to send our scout cavalry to pick those guys up as quickly as possible. And what we're going to do is we need to defeat one of the two enemy players. Uh, the rebel raiders are the weaker of the two, and you kind of have to push through them to get to Saturninus anyway. So we're going to go ahead and take down them. They have two major camps, one to the west and one to the center. It's kind of marked on the minimap, as you can see. Uh, so what we're just going to do is make sure we get our economy running, get some swordsman upgrades, get uh, the melee armor, and get the long swordsman? Broad swordsman? Yeah, I think it's broad swordsman. And this took me a few tries. So if, if you don't get it the first try, uh, know that Ornlu also <laughs> didn't either. It is okay. And if you did get the first try, know that, uh, you know, Ornlu's a pleb. So we're just going to make the uh, scout loop back around. Now there is that last Roman legion camp to the east of the map that you can see marked on the mini-map. And that one I just kind of throw into the meat grinder. There's probably a more efficient way you can speed run this. And there, there's a little bowman derping around. It's not like the uh, emperor does a whole lot for you in this scenario other than uh, act as cannon fodder. Anyway, you get a huge army right here. I mean, remember... This is only a 50 pop limit scenario. Lots of infantry units, a couple of cavalry units. And they just have a bunch of random dudes over here, but you you crush them. Now, I don't know what the specific, like, resign conditions are for these players. Uh, I don't know how to open... I don't think you can open them in the scenario editor. Even in the AOE one one, because it's uh, a paid expansion. But may maybe you can. Uh, but they usually encrypt those scenarios so that, you know, you can't just uh, distribute them <laughs> without ha people having to pay for them. But, yeah. You can see that we're pretty much crushing them, making sure we're not running around after a random villager. Remember that TCs in AoE 1 don't shoot arrows at you. So you can just run in without a care in the world. Make sure we're just taking our hunt, queuing up some swordsmen. Staying as close to the 50 pop limit as we reasonably can. And you can see on the, the east side of the mini-map, I just kind of got my units and just tried to annoy blue as much as possible. You can see that right here. I'm sure with better micro, you can do even better here, but hey, it's me. You can only do so well. Anyway, I do realize that that's actually a market there. I need to get used to the AoE 1 buildings. Their, uh, their perspective is quite interesting, to say the least. Anyway, we're getting our storage pit upgrades, which are basically our blacksmith upgrades, for those who are more familiar with AoE 2, like me. But we don't need to have a ton of overkill, so we just leave a few dudes left to take down that market. Again, I don't know exactly what their resign condition is, so we're just going to kind of crush them. <laughs> them having a few slingers running into our towers isn't anything we're going to complain about. These axemen don't stand a chance. And now we just need to make a big old attack on their main camp. Yeah, those guys all kind of die, but hey. We're just taking the best trades we can against their army. Now we're going to have metalworking. It's basically like iron casting, I think, for infantry. Now we're going to be getting uh, pierce defense, because in AoE 1, the melee armor and pierce armor uh, upgrades are different for your units. You have one for melee armor and one for pierce armor. Mm. 
Yeah, oh, just <laughs> run around and hunt the boar. We just need food and come just to spam more infantry. Because remember, they do attack 50% faster with the Romans, so it seems like a, at least to me, you know, as far as day one strategies go, a pretty effective way of uh, tearing down stuff quickly. Also, it seems like the buildings in this game don't really have any armor, so again, that just means that the fairly high attack and quick attack speed of the infantry is going to be really good. Also, it turns out that gates and then attacking them is really derpy in this game, just like it is in AoE 2, so some things never change. I have no idea what the appropriate appropriate amount of villagers is. We just kind of keep on training them until we're pop capped. Now, again, if the wind condition is just sniping their town centers, then I, I guess we can just run in and do that. But I'm not really sure if that's the case. So we're just going to try and, you know, erase all of their stuff as much as possible. Their towers are really the only things that are doing significant damage to us, because the slingers only deal, I think, two damage to hit with our armor upgrades. So just trying to make sure that we are using everybody as effectively as possible. And now going after the town center. 720 HP. But since they're not garrisoning their villagers, we are just going to tear it down quite quickly. Just queuing up more units now. What I could do is build some forward barracks to like really expedite the process. But hey, we're going to tear down their town center and... I don't know if that's the only loss condition, but they end up resigning here, and we are under the 10-minute mark, and you can see the achievement pop up in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Good stuff. All right, so that was this little guide to our gladiator-related achievement. I uh, hope you all enjoyed and found this useful. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.